I have a problem. What? I need a bigger wagon. Oh. <laughs> I already started without you. It just filled up so fast. They're actually quite large to begin with, so and that's in my defense. So, we just did a tour with Baker's Acres. They have so many great plants, so many great plants. Kind of was like shopping as we were doing the tour. Uh, she, and then uh, uh, Rini just came out and she's like, I saw you looking at those Simisifugas, which are these guys, these black, snake roots. She has like three different types of cultivars with these really dark purple bronzy leaves. You could see I'm kind of going for a theme here. <laughs> but even she has these little plants that I was looking for. This is a cultivar of a pusatilla called Rubra. And that was the one I actually wanted. And you can't find them online even. And then this penstemon it's like an all-purple version. All-purple version of Penstemon, which is Beard Tongue. And I feel a little bit bad because this was the last one they had and there was like bumblebees in it. And I was like, I'm gonna move you. Um, and then thyme, this thyme smells like nutmeg. And then I was looking for more woolly thyme for um, the memorial garden we're doing and this dianthus, which is really gorgeous with that red flowering leaves. Some more foam flowers for the shade garden. Uh, the sedum, I think this is like plum sparkler or something it's called. And then the eupatorium is, uh, has these purple leaves, which is great because I can plant next to the purple elderberry. Whew, I filled up quickly. So I saw a few more plants that I'd like, but I ran out of space. Okay, so let me pull this over to the side. I don't want anybody like stealing my, stealing my find, you know? So how do these work? Just like this? No, I'm not sure. What do I do? You scared me. You scared me. By the way, this pineapple weed. Did you smell this? Did you take a really good whiff? Oh, absolutely. Have you never took a whiff of it? Oh. People use it for tea. Ooh, yeah, it's sweet. It's really sweet. It's all over the place. Yeah. Yeah. Part one is ready. Where, Part one is ready. Yeah. Where should I Where should I put this so no one like says, "Oh, that's a nice display. I'm gonna take some of those." Okay. Do you wanna? I'm still gonna buy. I just need some more space. Pull it right back on between those two houses. Okay. Perfect. One of the problems with having like a lot of land is that you could have endless plants. And that's a problem for somebody like me because you'll just want to fill the whole place with plants. Sort of like this, you know, they have like sprawling apples and rock gardens and of course the nursery. So it's really inspirational. All right, I guess we should go with something like this because that's what they have. Should we go down to the herbs and vegetables? Let's let's do so. Why not? I love this. I saw this in the other house and I think we're, we'll, we'll get it. It's like a geranium with the blue leaves, but look at the color of the flowers. It's gorgeous. Oh my gosh, Sandra, smell this. That is such a unique smell. It's a little bit like lemon and cat piss. Yeah. I like that. Forage. This is called curry plant, but this isn't the true curry plant. I'm gonna give this a whiff. That's cool too. It does smell like curry though. Mm, wow. That's nice. 
should get it just for the, just for the hell of it. Curry Dwarf. Okay, well we got the regular. Some geraniums, Vietnamese mint. Oh my goodness. I feel a little sullen that they're gonna close up in, in uh, fall because this would be really the time to, to plant. Ooh, look at this variegated garlic. I've never seen anything like that. Isn't that clever? It's so beautiful. It's a tender perennial, so that means it probably won't survive the winter. You may have to bring it in. That's gorgeous. I mean, I've never seen a lot of these varieties, so it's like, I feel like a kid in a candy shop. Oh, this is nice too. There's some lavenders. Okay, Santolina. I haven't had this in a little while. It's also really beautiful. These are all like little Mediterranean plants. Okay, I'm running out of hands and you don't have any hands to help either. <laughs> One hand, okay. Means I have to make my choice. Rue, Blue Mound, no, we're gonna pass on that. Come back down here. I think we should get some uh, lavenders. We already have quite a few, but, I mean, smell this, run your hands through that. It's ridiculous, I know. I know. All right, bring those back. I absolutely love discovering these new plants. I mean, the fact that they had 250 herbs at one point, I mean, oh, it's just amazing. So much to aspire to. Okay, this is the rose that I'd like to get. It has um, a single bloom, it's pink, and look at the beautiful color. I mean, we're already kind of going this theme of this reddish purple, and this just has incredible foliage. So, yeah. A red leaf rose, I love it. So I think that's gonna be our first um, rose that I purchase. We would be proud. <laughs> and then, we'll go into greenhouse two. Their succulents are even like fuller than what we saw when we originally came. Pretty standard in the succulent arena, but they're really nice specimens. Was it this one we were in? Or no, where we saw him watering. Oh, let's do that one then. These ones right here. I like these. I could see these in Bill's garden too. I love the color contrast. So we'll do that. This is not hardy, I don't think, usually, but I think this verbena, it says zone five, which is great. This self-seeds, I think this would be so beautiful in our uh, meadow area. See how tall it could get? So that standing out among the grass. But so let's just kind of like play around with this. Um, Cause we'll- Pops this in and it will take, uh, it will start spreading on its own. Yeah, it, it self-seeds. Um, and it's so nice because it gets these really tall flowers. Let's try to find one with a tall flower because I'd like to see that. 
kind of combine next to some of the grass. So if you take some of the grass over here, So if you can imagine this grass, for instance, the purple flowers, seed heads, huh? Calmagrostis this is. With that popping up in the meadow, you see that? And all that movement? Sold. It's beautiful, right? It's unbelievable. I'm, um, I'm pretty convinced that's the way that we wanna go when it comes to uh, planting. And then this, I love this, um, this uh, Elijah Blue, it's a Festuca. And you can see it also gets these really beautiful golden um, seed heads. And this I could see in, uh, in Bill's garden. So we'll get something like that. It's like, it's, it looks a little bit like a cousin it, but the blue version of it. See? It's already, we'll get one without the seed heads, like that. And I think this is great. We'll probably buy this as seeds. And um, I'll add this to the list. I didn't add this to the list of the meadows because I didn't think it was um, hardy to zone five. And we're in kind of zone 5A, 5B, site six. It's kind of all in the, that mix. But um, God, I'd love to see this growing in the meadow. All right, I think we're good. I think we, uh, let me get my other cart out. And we'll combine, oh wait, Woo. I think we're done. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, look at this fountain <laughs> grass, it's so cool. I think, um, that's how, uh... So yeah. Oh, so we, we planted this in the middle of the path, if you recall. But I oh, think yeah. one of these in the garden we're going to do for Bill is going to be really beautiful. All you need is really one. Stunning. You guys all I think so. So this is our winds. These are our winds. We have lots of different kinds of things. Look at these red sempervivums. This is a sedum. Dianthus, Simifugas, Eupatoriums, Tiarellas, the one with like kind of the red streaks and just the native version. I can't remember the name of this one. I've never seen it before. Echiums, Ammoniums, red feathers. Look how beautiful that is. Like yeah. The yeah, it looks a little like the lupine. Beard's tongue, this you'd love the smell of. It smells like nutmeg. Yeah. We are ready for you. This is the um, penicetums. I love them. They, they feel like cat's tails. And then we got some lavenders, santolinas. This is, um, I don't know the scientific name of this, but it's like, they call it curry plant, although it's not true curry. I mean, look at these variegated garlics, they're so cool. And we got some geraniums and festuca. This uh, rose with the red leaves. And this uh, verbena bonarensis, which I think this is gonna be one. It wasn't on my short list, but I think I'm gonna put it in my short list. It's not really a native here, but um, we do have some native verbenas, but this one will be, uh, I think, perfect for what we're trying to achieve in our meadow. I just love the diversity of plants that you have here. It's good. It's unbelievable. We did well. Yeah. I'm really excited to get these planted up. I didn't, I didn't know that this was um, hardy to zone five. It has to seed. So okay. Leave the, leave the heads on. Okay. Yeah. That's the only way it's going to come back. It's okay. It's like a tender perennial. That's what I was going to say, because yeah. it, it didn't make my short list for, the, for meadow, but I always like no. had pictured it in my meadow. Yeah. And, if it um, can just 
seed, yeah, it should come back for you. Um, so does that mean we can still cut the meadow at the end of the fall or not? End of fall, maybe beginning of spring. Is yeah, that possible? I mean, just as long as it's completely brown and yeah. some seed has fallen. Yeah, that's all that's which you necessary. want to do for some of the other meadow plants as well. Absolutely, right? yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Right, because Ab they'll go to seed and then next year they'll come back. Down. Yeah. Yep. Absolutely. Perfect. Thank you. I love the color palette. If you just like kind of look, scan it over and you can see some of the blues in here and the purples and... Blue, purples, reds. Reds and purples, yeah. It, it, I'm definitely like feeling that as a main color palette. And that also yeah. works, I think, with the sky. And maybe some of like white... Like white penstemon yeah. flowers are really great. I love, and I love the guara that we got, which is the whirling butterflies that have like the white or the pinkish flowers or white pink. You know, that, that just looks so beautiful. I mean, of course, we have the yellow garden, <laughs> but um, I think yellow with dabbed with purple is also a really nice palette too. It's a com very complimentary combo. Exactly. I see it all coming together, and it's like for me, it's like really, it's really exciting. And um, plus, pink goes really well with this color palette too. Yeah, and then white and white and pink, like white, and then some pinks, and then like of course the the purples fall into lavenders and lavender. Lavenders and purples fall into blue, so it's it's a nice range. But I got you a lot of uh, scented plants, which I know you were requesting. Yeah, we'll do a proper herb garden when we get the deer fence, but um, we could start here and there, you know, interplantings with some of the planting beds that we've already started to plant up. We just got one of these too. Did you? Yeah. I guess it doesn't go to fruit unless you have a cro like something else to cross I with. I didn't realize that until yeah. a couple of years ago, but yeah. Yeah, so we got a laced up and then a couple different versions of these. I can't remember the... One of them was the pollinator. Right? Yeah, yeah. Now we come with the struggle where I only have two hands. <laughs> and you want to film this. What do I do? I could do it, look. Yeah. Except I can't, I have to make sure that this, I don't snap this flower head off. Right there. Oh yeah, like this side? And then, all right, I see that you, you've you done this before. Oh, yeah, okay, see I got the hang of this. <laughs> Glad you have a big boot to your car. 